Hello, welcome to this Smart Plant 2016 tutorial. Today, I will show you how to create a rectangular grid by Smart Plant 3D. Let's start Smart Plan 3D, then select English Unit Template and then hit OK to continue. Before going through this and the remaining the SP3D sessions. We will define the workplace to include all objects in Plant Training Model Database. Now let's click File in the main menu and select the Define Workplace command. In Filter drop-down list of the Define Workplace dialog box, select Create New Filter. At New Filter Properties dialog box, type U02 as the name of the new filter. And then select Plant Underscore Training as, expand the search to include the selected system, finally hit OK. Hit OK to finish Define Workspace. Navigate to Tasks on the main menu, select Grids option in the drop-down list. Now let's select Grid Wizard command from the Vertical tool. We are going to create a new rectangular grid. Type U02-C-S as grid name. Type 30 feet 0 in as east, x, parameter. And put 10 feet 0 in as the value of north, y, field. We have just defined coordinate system. Now we are going to create elevation plan, grid x plan and grid y plan. Click next to continue. Now we are gonna to create some elevation planes. Let's choose the type of elevation plan. There are different types of elevation planes, such as bottom of base plate, bottom of concrete, top of steel and grade elevation. We are going to choose grade elevation option for the location 0 feet 0 in.
Hit Add button to create the first one. If we change the name rule to, position. This option provides the base levels for the primary planes and then appends onto this base, the physical location of the plan on the parent coordinate system. Now let's change the name rule to, imperial position and create the elevation 0 feet 0 and again. Now we are going to create the second plan, which is located at 2 feet 1 in. Type 1 is quantity for copy plan in copies field. And we put 2 feet 1 in into spacing field. In the type drop down list, we select bottom base plate. Then press add button. Now as you can see, the second plan has been just created. Do the same procedure to create the third and the fourth elevation which is located at 18 feet and 30 feet correspondingly.
Select Next to continue. Now we are gonna to create some grid X planes. Set the name rule to alphanumeric and percent for all grid plan. And select NS grid plane option in type field. The first X plane is 0 feet 0 in. The second X plane is 20 feet 0 in. So let's set the start plan as 0 feet 0 in. Type 1 as number of copies of the plan. And then put 20 feet 0 in into spacing field. Hit add button. Now let's create the third X plane, that is located at 40 feet 0 in. Click Next button to continue. Now we are going to create two grid Y planes. But first, we are going to set the name rule to alphanumeric and percent for all grid plan. And select, EW, grid plane, option in the type field. The first Y plane is 0 feet 0 in. So hit add button. The second Y plane is 15 feet 0 in. We are going to put one as number of copies. and type 15 feet 0 in into the spacing field. Finally press add button.
As you can see, we have just had 2y plan. Now press next to continue. Hit finish button in associated elevation form. The wizard will create grid line at all elevation. Now use the fit command from the main toolbar to fit all graphic into the view. Go to the main view, then select view, in drop down list select ruler option. Now as you can see, the isometric view of the grid UO2. Let's switch to the plan view of the grid UO2. And next the front view. We are going to save this section as the name UO2. Thank you for watching and see you soon.